My next video after this one will be another deep dive into a Doctor Who serial and I do hope you can join me. In the meantime, I could kind of use your help with something. You see, when I was making my video about the Mind Robber, I came across a little mystery. I was introducing a character officially titled in the Doctor Who canon as the Master of the Land, or alternatively, the Master of Fiction. Though in this particular serial, he is credited simply as the Master, not that one. It had actually been a long time since I last watched it. To briefly summarise, this character, whose name is never truly revealed, is scooped up from his English dwellings in the summer of 1926. He is then hooked up to this alien consciousness and forced to pen a fantastical land populated by fictional characters in order to enslave humanity and leave the real planet Earth open for invasion. This alien threat considered the gentle Englishman to have the necessary qualifications for the job because, for 25 years, he'd written 5,000 words of fiction every week, which according to Zoe, is well over half a million words. This guy clearly loved being a writer, even when wired to a malicious alien brain, and this sense of pride and passion for his work is clearly expressed when he says, Did you ever hear of the adventures of Captain Jack Harkaway? Alright, pause. What's going on? So it's obvious which Doctor Who character this immediately conjures up. As much as we'd probably like to bootstrap this reference as a deep-rooted piece of foreshadowing to one Captain Jack Harkness, who undoubtedly did faff around across space and time and was never far from converging on the Doctor's past selves in a series of mischievous ways, this is in no way connected, and Russell T. Davis did not base his inspiration for the exuberant time traveller on this line from classic Doctor Who. He based it on a lot of other things, and from what I can find, it appears that the name itself is inspired by Marvel's Agatha Harkness. So that's that debunked. Not that I think this was ever really in question, but this small bit of dialogue in a 1968 Doctor Who episode did open up a whole new mystery, and it's one that I still can't quite get my head around. Let's pedal back a second. When the Master asks a question, did you ever hear of the adventures of Captain Jack Harkaway, the Doctor replies by saying, wait a minute, a serial in a boys magazine? To which the Master holds up a copy of this, the Ensign. It was at this point that I googled Captain Jack Harkaway, and there it is. The first search result references this on a TARDIS wiki fandom site, an extremely intricate resource of Doctor Who knowledge which covers pretty much everything in the Doctor Who universe ever. Like literally all of it, it's basically like a universe all of its own. I jumped in for a closer read of this, and it appears on the surface that this Jack Harkaway thing is an open and shut case a fictional character written by the master of the land in a boy serial, The Ensign. Except, wait, both The Ensign and the character actually existed? Really? Yep, yeah, it's true. Google Jack Harkaway without the captain and you'll get no end of information regarding this character. Jack Harkaway was a swashbuckling, red-blooded hero aimed at a young male audience. He made his fictional debut as far back as 1871 and was created by English author and retired barrister Bracebridge Hemming. Hemming wrote several Jack Harkaway stories, which were published in numerous Victorian penny dreadfuls all the way up until his death in 1901. A short film of Harkaway was also made in 1910. For those who don't know, Penny Dreadfuls were serialised works of literary fiction, popular with the Victorian working class. They were often violent, anarchic, lewd and creepy. Kind of like a 19th century inside number 9. And Jack Harkaway was one of the more established characters across the Penny Dreadful landscape. There were hundreds of different Penny Dreadful publications. In the late 19th century and early 20th century, the demand for them was huge, but the majority of these magazine-sized prints of controversial literature turned to dust and remained unpreserved in any form. But, as with Bracebridge Hemming himself, the legacy of Jack Harkaway does live on in reprints and books which are available to buy pretty much anywhere. And it does kind of make sense that a character like Jack Harkaway would get referenced in The Mind Robber, as the land of fiction is occupied by a range of other vintage fictional characters, such as Gulliver, D'Artagnan, Lancelot, Blackbeard, Rapunzel, and more. But here's the thing. Despite looking at numerous sites all about Penny Dreadfuls and Hemming's Jack Harkaway, I couldn't find anything connecting him to the Ensign serial. 
You might think there's an obvious reason for this. I mean, you're working on Doctor Who, trying to write in a meagre detail to bulk up a larger, more crucial part of the story. You've heard of the Ensign and you've heard of Jack Harkaway, so squash him into one product just to get that bit out of the way. We're only dealing with a couple of lines of dialogue here, so what if the Master of the Land plagiarised this character from Bracebridge Hemming, or that Jack Harkaway never really appeared in that specific magazine? The fact that this writer is said to have travelled from 1926, which is still a good couple of decades after any new Jack Harkaway stories were written in the real world, shows how these names may have been thrown together in a last minute blasé fashion. Although I do find it interesting that the Master claims that he's been working on this publication for 25 years, which would date back to 1901, the year that Bracebridge Hemming died in real life. It does kind of imply that the Master inherited the character of Jack Harkaway rather than plagiarised him, and in the process, promoted him to captain. Anyway, so let's find out who did appear in the Ensign. Naturally, you can't just Google the Ensign, that's far too vague. If you try the Ensign Boys magazine, a publication does show up, but it's definitely not the right one. Enter the keywords, the Ensign Victorian, and you get nothing close. Okay, let's look at the actual magazine, shall we? Ah, the Ensign Library. Nope, nothing there either. So how about the Ensign Boys Serial? Wait a minute. And we're on another TARDIS fandom page. This is an interesting one. It's here that you learn of other references to the Ensign within Doctor Who. The fourth Doctor's assistant, Harry Sullivan, claimed to have read the Ensign as a child, as mentioned in the Doctor Who Tom Baker novel Scratchman, a book which was actually ghostwritten by James Goss. And James Goss clearly enjoyed referencing the Ensign, as he also mentions it in his short story Second Session, where the Ensign is used as evidence against the Second Doctor during his trial on Gallifrey. The story features in the 2013 book The Doctor, His Lives and Times. But, no matter what other key words I throw into Google, I just can't gather any more info pertaining to a real-life Ensign publication. Whilst the knowledge of Jack Harkaway is widely spread, there appears to be no proof that the Ensign existed anywhere outside of Doctor Who. It leads me to suspect that it did in fact not exist, which is contrary to the information going on this fandom site and others like it. So my question is this, what the dickens is he holding here? Is it a real magazine or a prop created specifically for this episode? That cover looks to depict a group of schoolboys in a rough and tumble atmosphere, which is very in keeping with the covers of real life Jack Harkaway publications that I've seen on the net. The 2D in the top right means two pence, which seems more or less the price of magazines during that, well, you decide on the era. I mean, what you're looking at here was filmed in the 60s, but if that item was intended to be authentic, then it was actually supposed to be from the 1920s or earlier. If it's real, why hasn't the Ensign Library been preserved on the internet in any form anywhere? My guess is this, that what you're looking at here was specifically created by the Doctor Who prop team. Though there seems to be a lot of work gone into it for just one fleeting reference, okay maybe two. He could have held up any old manuscript shouted the Ensign and the effect would have been achieved all the same. I think I need some validation on this, is the Ensign real or fiction? And why the appropriation of Jack Harkaway? Does anybody know anything that I don't? Did I miss something stupidly obvious? You know, The Mind Robber is an especially appropriate serial for this mystery to be embedded in, as the story itself deals in fiction within fiction. Though I'm not sure that's the specific intention as far as this reference is concerned. But, you know, I could be wrong. I'd love to know the backstory to this, if one does indeed exist. So if you know any more than I do, please hit me up in the comments. And what other Doctor Who serials, episodes and mysteries would you like me to discuss? And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Have a good one.